You're so rigid on the camera, innit? No, I'm not. You got this. I just rigid up. No, I just need to relax. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So we're here today in Milton in Cambridge. Uh, Cam, our young salesman, has booked us in for an appointment for a referral um, here today for a guy looking at social media. So we're gonna come talk to him today, uh, trying to understand his business, who he is, what he needs, what he requires. So um, yeah, come along and we'll hopefully be able to record the interview and the meeting, sorry, and we'll, and we'll see how, what comes of it. Just finished our meeting with the client, went really well. Signed him up on social media and ad spend. Um, so Cam, how, how do you feel it went like? I feel it went quite well. Obviously we needed uh, needed to take people in for a bit of the, um, need to take you in for a bit of the strategy. Yep. Facebook strategy, obviously that's your area of expertise, but I thought <coughs> like we, uh, we gave him, put across uh, what we we're gonna do for him and uh, really, really did uh, back up the fact that we are there to help him. Because I think that's what a lot of people don't realise is that we do we do kind of go into their business to help them out. Um, but we, we've got we've we've gone in there and we've we've kind of take he's had a bit of a bad experience. We've kind of reasserted him, told him we're happy to take him on a month trial deal, so he doesn't feel like he's locked into anything. And when we deliver the goods, then he's going to be more happy and crack on. Yeah, well, we just, we, obviously now we just need to make sure we do deliver the goods because we haven't got a contract out of this. This is going to be a month trial, so it's, it's in the balance at the moment. Hopefully, we can take him forward. Um, yeah, and, and do a good job. It's, uh, he's given us a good ad spend each month as well, so we, we hopefully we can really get some good good reach on the posts. Um, but yeah, something that you, you need to keep on top of. Yeah. Going to keep going, brief the team now, and make sure we're make sure we're on it. Make yeah. Sure we're on top of things. Yeah. Right. Let's go and get a coffee. Should we get a coffee? Coffee. Coffee. coffee? Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Secret. Secret for life. <laughs> How's the diet going? Yeah, good, thanks. You? <laughs> um, £150 plus VAT. I really shouldn't be doing this, to be fair. Think but, of the upside. Um, but if you, if, you feel, if, you, if you think of the upside potential to this, it's massive. You, you're like £150 plus VAT a month, what you're looking at. You're looking about 180 quid for that, um, uh, inclusive of that. For, uh, yeah, inclusive of that, 180 quid for both. And then you think you get one customer from that, and you're gonna you're gonna be smashing it. Well, I'll also do for you, Ed. I'll, so I'll attach the contracts uh, for the social media, and uh, and then uh, the, for the website as well. And then if you want to read through them, just give them a sign and send them back, and then we can go from there. Okay? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. What, right, okay, so what I'll do, I'll get the email sent over to you and uh, I, well, I look forward to working with you. Alright, nice, Harry. Take care now. Thank you. 
Thank you. Bye bye. He's in the bag. Yeah, good stuff. So that's a customer there that Cam's been speaking to for a couple of days. He's really struggling on price. Um, so we've had to flex a little bit on that, but this, on the proviso that he, start, he comes in with us for 12 months. So that deal uh, is probably worth the best part of two or three thousand. In all, is that right, Cam? In all, yeah. all in all, about two or three grand increased revenue for the year. So it's a, it's a good deal for us. Gets him in the ladder. Gets him on the ladder. Sorry for us to potentially uh, work with him again in, in the future on other on other services. But Cam's battled with him there a little bit on price. But I think you did a great job, Cam. Um, how, how did you feel it went? You... <laughs> yeah, it went all right. To be fair. Um... There was a lot of objection handling in there and um, I, it got to the point where I was wondering are we actually getting anywhere with them? Um, so I kind of just straight up asked him what, what the problem was. Um, so once you part, well, I highlighted the problem. Was it purely um, on cost? It was purely on cost because he's taken up a job to um, okay. fund his, his start business. He's just spent £5,000 plus £2,000 to get there on the actual course itself yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for, to become a, uh, a well, what's it, a, a, per, yeah, a personal practitioner. practitioner but, personal coach, a live coach, and um, he's put a lot of money into this, and he, he does it, he, I, I, after twigging onto that, I knew he wasn't just going to um, come out, he said that he really wants to work with us, because we are, we seem like we, we know what we're talking about, obviously, um, yeah, said the, his other contact as well, he's speaking to one guy in India, so he was saying that I'd rather have some, but an established yeah, company yeah, yeah. run it for me than... But no, I feel like it went really well. I managed to turn around a lot of his objection handling, and he said he wanted to think about it. By the by, the end of the call, he was shaking my hand. Good stuff. Right, yeah. So we've just finished the meeting in Cambridge. That went really well. Uh, we signed the guy up there, as you already know. Um, and now we're on the way back. You in my uh, mirror? <laughs> <laughs> now we're on the way back, um, and Cam is closing another another deal in the car. So we've got to go back to the office now. Um, see the guys, catch up on what leads have come in today, what deals we've got to close, but it's looking like a great day already. Um, we're, we're really, really grown as a business, and I'm just, just excited. Um, closing deals left, right and centre at the moment, and credit to this young man in the back, we've we're, um, got a team to do it, so, yeah, I've got to try and drive now, about crashing. <laughs> so, great morning in Cambridge. Now we've come back to the office, we've got a massive day ahead of us. Sales team, we've got uh, deals to close, people to see, we've got a couple of candidates coming in this afternoon for potential salesmen, it'll be great to see them. Content team, delivering websites, a uh, few little things going on, projects, back end functionality stuff we're working on, this is a bit key, I have to keep that top secret, but come on over, we'll, we'll uh, get on with the day. been on the phone most of the morning uh, Cam and Matt have been out in a client meeting so um, I've been looking after all of the incoming leads that have been coming in uh, chatting about potential deals websites and things as well as sort of putting a few things in place regarding uh, potential new members of staff and the sales team so yeah really excited lots of good stuff happening uh, can't wait to, to show you more of what we're doing more about so some of you may have seen um, from uh, yesterday's post that we did about uh, Surprise City. That's actually gonna be Manchester, which we're really excited about. Um, an opportunity has come up in Manchester for us to, to grow the business there. So Matt's got a lot on his plate at the moment of hopefully onboarding the new, the new staff from, from Manchester. It's an interesting uh, demographic there. Business is hot at the moment in, in, in the city. So we're looking to replicate what we've done here in the new, in the new place, which can be really challenging, but something we're, like, we're massively excited about. Um, we, we've also got a new office, hopefully, um, around here, the new headquarters that we're moving into and taking on more staff, so it's a really exciting time for the business. Um, obviously, it puts a lot more pressure on everybody, like Chris, our technical director, is swamped at the moment. We've got a lot of support going on um, for existing clients, existing sites we've done, um, which, is, which is proving challenging. Um, the sales team are, are flooded and, and Matt's now a sales director looking to talk to all these new staff members and looking at onboarding people and around here too. Um, some commission only staff as well, some salaried staff, you know, we've, when we've got more, more accounts coming in, we've got to look at account management, 
potentially as a role um, and HR issues that come up with that. And so it's, it's an exciting time for, for, for business. So we've got a sign off today that we can now tell you who we're dealing with. Um, but it's been secret up to now, but we've built, um, are we allowed to say what we did? I don't know. We've done some work for, <laughs> some major work, building digital work. Websites, websites. For um, Vitek, who are a 370 million pounds global company. Um, we've got, we've been referred to them through another client and we've done the work, it's now live, they're happy. Probably about a month turnaround, Chris, wasn't it? Less than a month, yeah, less than a month, we've got the work done, they're happy. Um, now I'm going to put a little promo together, the fact we're working with them, but these guys are absolute industry juggernauts in um, filming, equipment, lighting, uh, camera rigs, auto cues, that kind of stuff. These guys are the, the best in the business, they're all around the globe, is that fair, Chris? Yeah, it's very fair. Like, in general, Vitek, probably not the household name, however, the brands that are underneath them are huge, absolutely huge brands like Man Froto, the tripod company, Lower Pro, do bags, Auto Q, like industry standard for Auto Qs and teleprompters. I mean, it's absolutely massive. Like the great, great thing, business yeah, must be yeah, absolutely massive deal for us. So, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, that's really good. I'm not going to do a promo now on our on our social media so we're working with them, but I can't put a link to the the um, website that we did. Mm -hmm. Um, the two, is it two or did we do two or three? Two. Two, yeah. two for now. That's good. It's, it's really nice to work on these sort of guys. A lot of the focus last week was on like account management and everything like that. So um, what we've done on our end, on the, the web development end, is we've integrated a support system into our website which basically allows customers to come in and log a ticket for any upgrades or bugs or fixes that they need doing to their website. Um, we've also opened the channel up for social media content as well and just content in general so like when you log into once you sign up and log into the support section you can obviously select the right department that the work needs to go to um, obviously we'll get a ping back from head office and then we'll distribute the tickets um, in the right manner so yeah I mean it makes life a lot easier for us to streamline all the all the ticket all the tickets this way and um, you know we can handle we can deal with all the support requests in a timely manner rather than having everything bombarded into the into the email inbox and then um, we're forever looking through everything to uh, get organised so you know we're always moving forward keeping the clients happy and it gives us it also gives us a chance to communicate with the client inside inside our little ticketing portal as well so yeah no it's really good um, it'll improve it'll, it'll improve our levels of customer service tenfold as well so yeah happy days so this is gonna probably gonna go out. Are you filming yet? Good. This is probably gonna go out Sunday night at 6 p.m. Uh, yesterday, Cam will have been skydiving. So potentially, this could be the last time he's ever. He might not be. With he might not be with us. When you're watching this, he might not now be with us. But there will be a video of my descent. Yeah. So anything you need to say? Anyone you want to tell any loved ones? Um, I just, uh, I just want to say. Uh, no, not really. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for the opportunity in life. I mean, Skydive could be the demise of um, famous Killer Cam, but um, I yeah, think I'll live killed on. Killed Cam. I'll live for Killer Cam will be now killed. It's going to be a, a bit. It'll be a big shame for the business. Well, you just started doing well. You started selling. You started closing deals. That'll be a real big shame. But you know, we'll send flowers, no, visit the grave. Man, <laughs> 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 So today is quite a special day for probably not the great reasons, but it's 10 years to the day since the Lehman Brothers bank went bust, bust the right word, in, in America. Wrong. Yeah, went wrong. Um, and Warren, interest, interestingly today, was invited into BBC Radio Cambridge as an entrepreneur to talk about, um, talk about the, what, what talked explain? about the effects it had as, um, obviously pre the crash, obviously yeah. I started by entrepreneurial journey when I was sort of 17 because I had no choice um, but um, so they wanted to understand the effects it had on me um, 
prior to the crash and obviously after the crash, which was uh, which was interesting to speak about. It's a good experience though, going to the radio? Really good, yeah. I thought I'd be a little bit more nervous. I think um, I was, it was a little bit out of my depth, if I'm honest with you. Obviously, banking's not my not my bag, <laughs> so for me, talking about banking and politics isn't isn't really um, what I'm about. But I think I got across what what I needed to um, as an entrepreneur. Well, I, I don't like the word entrepreneur. It's, I'm not, certainly not self-proclaiming myself as one, mm. but. Um, the, the major the major switch that I saw was bank's attitudes change immediately sort of on pre pre 2008 and afterwards in in terms of lending money to to people like myself where back then I actually really needed the money I really mm. needed the support from um, from the banks and um, now ironically that um, we don't need it as much uh, obviously the banks are bending over backwards to help us even though we don't need it but back then when we did need it they wouldn't they wouldn't help at all and that was a really tricky time also. The fact that I was selling in, I was selling furniture to restaurants and pubs and clubs who were also finding it difficult to get funding. So um, it was almost like um, turning a tap off. Yeah. Like my, my business just just literally disintegrated over a period of six months. So really interesting time, really hard. Um, but you say say you learn your most valuable lessons when you're yeah. up against the wall, and I certainly did. My family stuck with me. Um, my mum, my dad, obviously Sarah, and the, what didn't have the kids back then, but Sarah, Sarah was a rock, and um, hopefully we're, we're all reaping the rewards now. So who got in contact with you from the from the show then? What was uh, it, it was, was a like? it was a journalist, just a journalist. Um, it was on was that through LinkedIn. I think it was through Twitter originally, was and it? then um, yeah, and then I just got chat in, and she asked me to go in and just explain a little awesome. bit about it. So it was really good, good experience. Good so exposure you, for the business as well. Yeah, they, they extreme. So we got um, extreme events mentioned a few times. Unfortunately, good. we didn't get to didn't right. get to big up profile digital, but um, yeah, it was really good experience and something that I definitely recommend. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. That's what I always try and do, and that was certainly out of my comfort zone it wasn't uh, I've, I've got a face for radio but I certainly haven't got the chat <laughs> the smartest for I've ever seen him dress he's gone on the radio <laughs> yeah, no, well, thanks for talking to us mate no worries, yeah. awesome thanks, thanks very much meeting was absolutely fantastic met a, a local young guy that's potentially interested in some winter work a um, bit of field sales work for us so that's great interview I think I think it's I think it's um I think the deal has been done I'm um, really really excited about that it's a, it's a great way for us to organically grow our business you know we've got Manchester happening we've got a couple of guys um, around dotted around the country that are coming on board another person locally which is great um, so that kind of wraps up for the day we've had lots of meetings today lots of sales lots going on um, hope you enjoyed it um, don't forget to like and subscribe as always um, yeah, well, I'm going to leave you guys to it, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.